just TikTok is just like it's the same thing. Yeah, just like it. Yeah. 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 Peace, peace. Ain't nothing but a different day, same truth. It's a different day, same truth. We just let people come in, uh, and we gonna we gonna break down the process um, and bring and get the details.
So y'all know we really don't do the comments, y'all. You know, that's why we have a panel. So we're not going, we can't really go into all the comments, but we can, we can do a lot of, I mean, a few of them. You know, until someone come up. But uh, basically, y'all, the free land was given to us by Hella Selassie. The land, the free land, was given to Hella Selassie. You know, in 19... It was actually 1950. I've been saying 1952. It was 1954. When, when this land was actually granted to us. But it was granted to us in 1948. Hella Selassie came to America... In 1954, and gave a speech in Chicago. Now, this is stuff that we don't know. In 1919, the, the, the Ethiopian embassy, mayors of certain parts of Ethiopia, came to New York, Chicago, and California. You know, to check on Africans and welcome them back home. You know. But again, none of this was ever told to the African Americans. That was shit mainly in the South. And we gotta understand, a lot of African Americans left the South and went to the North. Between 19, the, the, the early 1900s and all the way up until the 80s, people was leaving the South to go up North. So most of the people was in the South. But, you know, so, uh, but we're going to ask y'all to be, be respectful all the day, y'all. Uh, we got a lot of ignorant people come up here with their own assumptions, so, you know. Hello. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace. So, you're saying, <clears throat> good morning, so I came with the peace today. But I, but but I have some some question for you. But I I I came in an understanding, maybe or maybe you might not have a land in Ethiopia. Maybe you have you have uh, something. But let me ask you two questions. Do you know what's going on in Ethiopia right now? Oh, uh, I don't know exactly because I'm not there. Uh, but like I, I know it's war and it's, it's a lot of uh, 
religious conflict. Like I said, it's a lot of tribal war. You know, so it's a lot of stuff that been going on in Ethiopia that never been solved for 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 years. So the but, root, okay. I understand the root of the problem. I don't I don't really know the details because I'm mm -hmm. not there, I'm not a part of it, but I know the root of the problem. But the thing is, okay, the thing is if you're saying you have a land in Ethiopia, you should I think this is the one of the thing you should know what's going on in Ethiopia. So right now you're teaching something for the people that you're saying there there is a land in Af in Ethiopia, right? So me personally, let me tell you what's going on. And then hold from on, your hold per on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before, before, you, mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. before you get into that. Okay, sure. You know, I'm not asking you what's going on. You know, no, you're not asking me, so, but okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, wow. So, this is to bring awareness to why Africans, Americans was given free land in America. We doing something a little bit different from what you might see on this thing. So it might be wasted. You might be wasting. Okay, what's the whole point of this? Us. Us. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm right. sorry. Okay. I'm not I'm not trying to distract distract you. I'm sorry. Okay, you, you go ahead talk. I'll yeah. mute. So I was just letting you know this is to bring awareness to our people and also Ethiopians to why they was given free land in Ethiopia. So we can open our minds to a bigger picture that's going on, okay. you know, but we have spoken with many Ethiopians that have right, told us what's going on in Ethiopia, who actually okay. But I, I, I want to ask you one question. You're trying to give an awareness. Okay, I appreciate that, right? But what's the idea of, so you want the land? That's what's going on right now? Us. It's not about what I want. It's about okay. what's in mind. So not just the 500 acres. You know why the throne of David and you know the throne of David that's in Ethiopia? Do you know anything? No, about I'm in that? Ethiopia for no, I'm just answering from down. They said, Are you in America? No, I'm in Ethiopia. Okay. okay but so, so don't worry about the comments. That, that's just me and you All and right. Dave. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. My, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. About the throne of I David. Go, I go with your rule because I'm in your house. I'm in your um uh, TikTok live. So i I go with your rule. I'm listening. Go ahead, talk. I, I ask you a question. Do you know anything about the throne of David that's in Ethiopia? No, I don't. But the thing is, I really want to know. But I understand you was what's going on. But like I said earlier, you might have or you might not the land. But I don't know. This is a history. You're coming with history, what you're saying. But I understand. I appreciate that. But on the same time, I appreciate what's going on right now. And the other thing is, I love Haile Selassie. Don't get me wrong. But like right now, that what we're going, when we, what what like what the people literally um. Like, following is a different government, a different kind of thing, which is, I don't even like it. But on the same time, it's really hard for us to accept this right now. You came from nowhere because I have I have a lot of Jamaicans friend who was like, whatever, but I never heard of this thing. So, like, where this came from? That's my biggest question. But, like, I'm, I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to, to do back and forth. But all I was trying to say is, what's going on in Ethiopia right now, even... Not for you guys, even for us, we don't have any land, okay? A lot of people losing their house, a lot of people losing their home that they live for a lot of years. So what I'm trying to say is you came up here to, to tell history, which is we love it. I love listening to history. I love reading book too, but... I really want to know where did you read it, if you drop it for me, or if you text me. Like, I really want to know. For me to come up here and ask you a question, I should know first. For him personally, I don't know what you're saying. So we're, we're so bizarre. And then what, one thing I'm going to tell you, so Ethiopia people, you think we're, like, smooth. But at the same time, they're so aggressive, you know. When it's come to Ethiopia, when it's come to something, if they don't know it, we all act like, oh, what you're saying? What you're, even the yesterday, I was saying the same thing. I'm like, what you're talking about? You're delusional, you know? But what I was trying to say, okay, can I finish? And then you're going to talk, okay? But what I was trying to say is I, I understand what you're trying to say. But on the same time, I really want to know. I really want to read it about it. But on the same time, it's not going to change anything. That's one thing I'm going to tell you. Even the people who are living in the land, they're losing their house and everything right now. But you're trying to teach history. You should do two two things. When you said, uh, you know, like, uh, 
African Americans have free land in Ethio in East Africa. No, don't don't only put that motto on yours. You can say the history said African Americans have free land in East Africa. Give them some idea. You know, this is like literally starting like a conversation with people they don't know. Like it's like a war. You feel me? Like yes, we have. And then what you're gonna do about it? Like it's like that. But if you like smoothly, if you change like your motto that you write it down on your screen, change it to like the history say this. We're gonna come and ask you where, how can you can you tell us? This is gonna be us. You feel me? This. You ever heard the truth hurts? What is that? You ever heard the old saying, "The truth hurts." The truth hurt. No. That what doesn't mean the truth hurt? I say, have you ever heard that old saying? Oh yeah, the truth hurt. Yeah, I'm like, yes, I do. I hey, do know about the truth so, hurt. So you know what we doing? We just telling the truth. Now we not here to fix it up for you. We love you. We care. We respect. All our job is to do to tell the truth. But now, yeah, but right you, now you're telling the history. Slow down, sis. Can you slow down for me? Oh, I'm it's I'm, I'm really slowing down. It's your job. It's the Ethiopian's job. It's the African job. It's every human job to hear the truth. Why don't you go and leave right now? That that's sis. one thing I'm gonna tell you. You're sis, gonna move you. back. Sus, I'm not. I'm not gonna keep saying you're a grown woman. Oh, wait, oh wait. Have, hey, my bad. Hey, okay, let me mute hey, myself so you can talk. I can't hear you when I'm talking. If you, if both of us talking, we can't even hear each other. So all I'm saying is, everybody keep coming on telling me how Ethiopians are, but you know what Ethiopians gonna have to do? Accept the truth. So they gonna have to submit to the truth. The truth is not gonna come to an Ethiopian. Because they are Ethiopian and say, well, let me talk to them this way. No, we respectful, we humble, we patient. And that's all you're going to get. And then you're going to get the truth from somebody patient, humble, and respectful. But if you are not humble, not patient, and not respectful. But you're telling me right now you're not respectful, you're not <laughs> humble. You're literally telling to my people. No, no, no. So are we Ethiopian, we're not humble? That's what you're saying? Hold on. Let's, I want to reset it right quick because she got a camera. We got, we forgot. We got, we got to set back our rules because we got a lot of people, you know, like I say, who just want to be motor mugs. So we want to see their facial expressions. Like you can see our facial expressions when we speak. So our rule is when we talk to people, sis, we have to cam up so we can know if we're having a true conversation or a meaningless conversation. Because you can disagree and be in ignorance and talk this way, but you can also be in ignorance and be playing behind the camera. So we let our people who going to come up turn their camera on because when you look in our eyes, you know it's real. When you see our facial expressions, you know so it's you real. So you want me to turn on my camera? Yeah, turn your camera. Uh, sure not. And no problem with with me turning on my camera. It's not gonna change the truth. Like, I'm I'm literally hi. Okay, so I'm literally one of Ethiopia. I'm not even like covering all oh, whatever. But what truth you're talking about? But and the other thing is, don't ever say y'all Ethiopian are uh, like I'm grateful y'all not patient. Blah 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 blah. Like because like I'm respectfully came here because I know what I said yesterday and I don't think that's the right thing what I have to say. I'm sorry for that because I'm like personally I should have listened to you first from your perspective and then I should have say my words. But on the same times, personally you could have said you can bring up whatever history. I know the truth hurt. The truth hurt. Right. The truth hurting you too because there is no land right now. It's not even enough for us. It's not even, there is no land that you're going to own right now. Maybe one day Haile Selassie said that. We don't preach Haile Selassie. He is one of our king. He passed away. Okay, we're good. the new one is going to come. It goes. We don't preach Haile Selassie. We preach God. We follow the rule. We follow the Bible. And no free land. I can came to America and be like, Okay, I'm from Ethiopia, so Hala Selassie is my uh, whatever. Yes, so I, I'm on this line. No, I didn't say that. I don't think Hala Selassie is Christ either. 
No, a lot, a lot of you, a lot of y'all do that though. But okay, but, but now you, the truth hurt. I'm saying you the know, truth right. What are you talking about? We talking to you. Can't look us in the eyes. You're putting assumptions on us. When okay, we... but my mama, well, let me ask you, sis. Let me ask you one question. So, what's the hold of the point? So, when we bring ourselves to life, okay, you came here to 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 tell history, right? Okay, we'll listen to history. History that doesn't hurt the truth is not gonna hurt it's a history oh. it's already passed but i you want do you oh. want the land now that's the question oh. i'm giving you two 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 type of, you're oh. not answering my question oh. answer oh. me my question oh. first today to african americans this, hey. this is not something that just washed away yeah like yeah, like yeah, like you had like when you oh. wrote it hold up so, so, so i want to ask you this you say you believe in the bible right yes i do i okay. do believe the Jesus house of Christ. david hallelujah the house of Christian. david Come from the house of David that come from Ethiopia is in captivity, as scriptures tell us. So you know where the house of David, the original Ethiopians, you know where they at? You about to say they, in the, they in the Western world. <sighs> That's why the Ethiopian embassy been coming to America to welcome them back home to their father's land, as biblical prophecy says. The Bible prophecy let us know that the descendants of the royal priesthood has to come back home to their father's land. Okay, where do you have free land? What's the, the, the exact place? Can you tell me that? You know, Ethiopia already have a lot of nation and nationality. You feel me? We have like Oromo, we have Tigre, we have Amur. Everybody have their own land. They have own everything. They have a rule that follow by. Where is the exact place that you're going to say, oh, this you know is my I land? Mean? You're not going you know to pop I... out to somewhere. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. You know what? Yeah, you know, you see what that say right there? The land of Shashamani, 150 miles from the capital. The land of that Shashamani is literally like, they, they have like, uh, what's that? Uh, what? So let me tell you something. It's 500, right? 500 huh? acres. So Shashamani is you guys? You saying that? So to the black people from the West who has support him in the in the war in for Italy. These are not things it said the first people to arrive were African American Jews. These are things that you guys can look up. Like we not we're not making this up. So and now so you, you so you, guys, day, you guys want a land. That's what's going on. Are you guys going to go buy it? That's that's the, the you can, in, in Ethiopia, one thing is, that's what I'm telling you. Maybe history happened. History is a history. Be quiet. Okay, I'm going to quiet. Okay, sir. I feel like I'm in this school, though. So are you saying that history that happened in the past aren't still, those laws aren't still happening today? Huh? Laws still aren't still here? Now, what I'm trying to say is history can happen. A new history is coming up, too. Ethiopia is literally going in a lot of way. And you're coming up here trying to say, my people right now is hungry, my nigga. My people is losing their house. And I don't think this is the... If you feel like you literally care about Ethiopia, and if you feel like you really... You literally, like, feel like you're East African. Because I, I saw you, my brother, you said you're from East Africa yesterday, yesterday right? Sus, this if is, I'm this not wrong, if, if I'm not getting wrong, you said yesterday you're from East Africa, right? No, I say I'm an African American. My I descend my my the ancestors. But I heard you yesterday, hey. word by word, I heard you. Can you said you you're quiet? East African. Hey, can you mute your mic? Because I know right. you're gonna you're gonna talk while I'm talking. So, Bible prophet. This is biblical prophecy that. These people are gonna return back to Ethiopia. No, because I, I want to. I want to read the part. That, the father's land. No, they're gonna return. Yeah, they're gonna return and restore. Ethiopia must be restored. Black people losing their house in America. Ethiopians were scattered. This is what y'all are not taught. Y'all think everybody in Ethiopia are the original Ethiopians. Let's first start there so you can understand this. Ethiopians were scattered. They was taken from East Africa. That's why when they used to have commercials of these black babies that were starving, who they look like? African Americans. All through East Africa. When you talk about Saka Zulu, all this stuff, when you see these images, what do you see? African Americans. These people was conquered, colonized, and strip 
And certain people was left there. We even got Ethiopians that's telling us a lot of Ethiopians are even not original Ethiopians. They, they, they come from India. This is what Ethiopians are telling us. We not saying these things. So Bible prophecy lets you know people that was taken from their land going to return back to their land and restore their land because you said what? Y'all losing their houses. Well, guess who's going to get them back for y'all? These African-Americans. Because when we come over there, we're going to set everything straight for our brothers and sisters. We just not come over there to take from y'all. We coming to restore what was taken from us. And that's why right now in Ethiopia, I ask you, do you know anything about the throne of David? You told me no. But the thing is, I don't have to. Government, listen. But if you I, tell me to know, I'll read about it. But sus, let's, can I say something? You're sus, little... No, sus, sus, no, sus, sus. Why, why your friend is so aggressive? If you're not, let me, let, sus, let me talk. Sus, this sus, is not fair. Sus, stay on mute, Wob. Stay on mute. Stay on mute. I know this is your life, but like sus, the, the way you're literally handling the life, this is not proper. I don't think so. I'm going to give you the floor after he's finished what he has to say. You're gonna okay. Give it so, talking all day. so right now, if you live in Ethiopia and you don't know nothing about the throne of David, you cannot argue and make a statement with us. Because the throne of David, it governs Ethiopia. This throne right now is empty. Nobody in Ethiopia is sitting on the throne of David. You what? live in Ethiopia. Why don't you, you go Ethiopia? Why don't you go? Do you think you're going to change anything in this life? You're making a delusional. You're making confused people. Why don't you go? Why don't you fight for your land? Why don't you do that? People are literally losing what they have, and then you're literally asking something from bizarre, like literally. And I feel like you're literally delusional, but I respect where you came from, and I appreciate that. And then for your next time, when you add somebody, and then your friend, like whoever is next to you, not in a camera, don't be disrespectful. Don't say a no or whatever, because I have the right to say whatever I have to say. I know this is your life. And then you go, go, go to Ethiopia. Why don't you have you have you both of you go? All right, peace, sis. Go um, research what we talked about, and hopefully you come back with a different attitude. She worrying about everything else but our conversation that we haven't engaged in, and she can't never stick to no points. And she worried about somebody saying no. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. What's good? Peace, peace. So, What's going on, peace? So I see you got my flag in, in the background. What's going on? Are you from Ethiopia? Well, do you believe Ethiopians were scattered in history? Do you believe Ethiopians, like you have Ethiopians that have been scattered? Bruh, let me tell you something, my nigga. Hey, 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 hey brother man, brother man. I asked you a simple question, homie. This the real one. This the original one. See, see. Hey, Why hey. Why don't you answer the question? Hey, brother man. Brother man. Brother man. Brother man. Yeah. What's... Always Listen. a simple question, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Are we in a struggle right now, or are we just relaxing our kingdom? As, the as, whole as world we, is struggling. The whole world is struggling these days. Okay, so brother, so when I come meet another brother that's in the struggle, why don't we find something to help us get out the struggle? You showing me a flag. I asked you a question. Uh, I, no, I respect that, but I'm saying like, when you, listen, bro. When you Hold put on, the flag before I listen. You answer the question. You listen to what I asked you. Do you even know what I asked you? Okay, go ahead. Ask me again. <laughs> so, so guess what? You wasn't even paying attention to nothing I was saying. I'm just asking you about your flag. Since you got my, the flag behind, I'm asking you. No, I asked you a question. Okay, ask me again. I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Okay, ask me the question. Okay, again. I appreciate it. So the question was, do you believe the Ethiopians were scattered in history. They were scattered to, to the Western society. Do you believe original no. Ethiopians was taken? No. Okay. I understand that. Now, but, what if I told you I had proof? Okay, tell me what's your proof. Well, when Great Britain came, you, you know what happened in 1868 in Ethiopia? When what? Great Britain came in? Okay, and then what they did? I say, do you know what happened? 
No, you tell me. You say you, if, if I talk, he say let me have a question. You ask me a question, I answer it for you. I know. That's what I'm saying. So okay. I'm just I'm trying to, I don't because, know what happened in 1877. So tell me what happened. I don't no, know. No. Okay, where? Well, 1868. I, I ask these questions because I don't like telling somebody something they already know. Because shit, I don't like talking. I don't know. So that's why I ask questions so I won't be just talking for no reason. So if you don't know, I will tell you. So. <laughs> Great okay. Britain. What happened in 67? I don't know. Just tell me what happened. 68. 86. Great Britain came into Ethiopia and killed Tedros. Or oh, Tedros killed himself because <laughs> he, was, he was surrounded. He was surrounded, brother. No, brother. let me tell you. You oh. got your back wrong. Oh. First of all, Tedros you, died. We did brother, not you, fight a Britain where he died, nigga. We did not fucking fight Britain. We never fight Britain. We fought Ethiopia. Now, brother man, you never fought, brother man, brother Britain? man, brother man. Hold up, stop, 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 stop. I clearly asked you, did you know? You said no. I got out two words. You went crazy. You didn't know nothing about it. So if I don't know something, I first gotta listen. Right, gotta first listen. of all, because you put the mute button, it doesn't mean to mute me. I cannot mute myself and not mama. If you don't want to have a conversation, kick me out. Don't mute me. That's hey, not hey, right. Conversation to me and you talking, brother. Bro, so all you, I be listening to you even before I got to the life. All you do is you demand them, bro. Just stop demanding, bro. Right. Let's brother have a, let's have an honest conversation, my nigga. That's all it is, brother. We having an iron. Bro, all you do is you just want me say you notice, know you notice, know bro. Whatever you you think you know, that's wrong. So, brother, man, I grew up in there. I was born, raised in there, bro. That's my country you're talking about. Are you telling me you know about me more than you? Are you kidding me? You gotta move on. Nigga, you get your move. fact right, bro. Uh, emotional. Get your it's... fact right. People don't know how to have a conversation like men. I clearly okay. asked him, did he know? You did ask him. I said two and words. He says no. I said two words and, and he, he went here. he went Brazil. Come on, we Hi guys. <laughs> I'm I'm at work, so I'm just gonna be really quick. Um, cause you pointed out, uh, I think a lot of people speak before they listen or comprehend or, you know, just, just, they're not being open-minded. So I'm going to be open-minded. Can you just explain to me what you were saying about Shasha Mende so we can understand just a little bit more? Okay. Um, Hella Salasa gave this land to African-Americans Okay. to come back to all this land. To help restore Ethiopia back to its glory. Gotcha. We was never told this as African Americans. You know, now mm -hmm. I'm also bringing this awareness to African Americans to help them understand why it was given to them and why okay. Ethiopia was the people that came over here and actually gave the land. Because gotcha. a lot of African Americans, that's where they come from. These things are not told to us. So I'm actually bringing awareness using something that actually happened in history and still valid still to this day. So 500 acres okay. was to us in 1948 to come back to Ethiopia to help restore Ethiopia. Gotcha. After the war, you know. Okay. I understand. Which what right you're now, just so the only part of I think you know, let's let's say that like if I had agreed with you and said okay me, he did give you guys that land so you deserve it blah 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 the problem with that is one of the downfalls of Haile Selassie was practically taking a land that did not belong to him practically taking a land that belonged to people from specific tribes and basically invading and colonizing within his own you know con country so you could say that belonged to us because Haile Selassie gave it to us. But the one of the reasons why he, he didn't stay in power and he got murdered is because he was stealing a land that never belonged to him or a specific tribe that at that point was not in that area. So, so it was never his to give anyways, is what I mean. So, so anybody who sits on the throne has jurisdiction. Right now, if the president become president in the United States. He don't own the land, but once he become the president, guess what? He has jurisdiction. So this is what we don't understand. But it, what but I'm trying to tell you is though, it's not his. Sus, if sus, if sus, a farmer owns sus, the land, sus, he cannot just steal it from we him and give it to someone else. We cannot talk at the same time. 
Okay, go I ahead. I listened to what you said, which was wasn't the facts. The facts was African Americans come from Ethiopia. Ethiopians and African Americans don't know. So okay, but what I'm saying is, what is it that you're trying to do with this information? Sus, sus, sus. It's one mic over here. And, and matter of fact, you pulled the cam up anyway. I have, I mean, I can't. I'm at work. So just oh, finish your sentence. Okay, and we got to get another caller because the rules is. Okay. Face. And like, like, okay, so that's I, fine. I'll be out. But this is a very delusional thing. I, You should save your time sorry, to do something else. We sorry. We sorry. Cause, Thank you. How are we delusional about something that's factual, that, that factual will happen? How... How can we be delusional? Like, that, like we made it up. We we actually wrote this up and made it up. Come on, man. Yo. Awareness. This is, this is, this is. Y'all, you seeing why we can't come together and unite? You see why we can't come together as distant relatives? Look at the jealousy, the envy, the hate, the selfishness. Look at it. The criticism. At a time like this, Ethiopia struggling and the African American struggling, and they don't want to come together to help each other out. Because of what they don't know. We telling people what we know, what we research, what we done studied, what we done sacrificed, what we done put our own resources together to actually dedicate this for. And people at another man's job trying to tell us what to do at our job. But I guess you don't know this our job. You, some people might not know that because we ain't got a uniform on. But remember, the uniform was going to come from our lips. It was going to be the truth. And that's what you got to wear. Uh, go ahead, brother man. Floor yours, man. Greetings to you. Oh, good, bro. Good to see you, too. No, I, I'm trying to really listen to you. To really, I just pull out, like, when he got in my way. But that's my boy. And the girl, too, that my sister. We're all black family. Uh, I really want to get to know, like, uh, the girl, we all black family. I'm not trying to buck. I'm just trying to speak the truth. But I really want to get to know what you're saying, man. I see. That now, you I mean, take it down. Now, I'm not here to disrespect no one. But they, my black family, I'd like to listen to you. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I know. I, I was just going to tell you, man, you know, you got to cam up when you come up. Just to, just so we don't get trolls, man. Uh, we get a lot of people, you know, a negative energy on here. So, you no know. We, negative. We, I don't have you know, time. Where you from? Wait, where you from, if you don't mind? Yeah, you got you to cam up to continue the conversation, man. Oh, good, bro. Look, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm just saying, like, uh, you. I'm from originally my motherland, African Ethiopian. I'm Ethiopian. I'm African. I'm Ethiopian American. I know about my country. The guy, he trying to tell you what to hey, do. Hey, bro, What's man. going on? Go you ahead. Know, I, I listen understand, to. You. I understand. I feel where you're coming from, but the rules to be fair to those who we have kicked down who didn't cam up. You're gonna have to. Uh, Turn your camera on so we can continue the conversation, brother. Uh, uh, look, I'm at work. We're going to do next time. Anyway, no disrespect. That's my, Gert, that's my black family. And it's a dude also. A lot of them are from Texas. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. All good. Nothing but respect. We don't do disrespect. We re I really get to know everything. But we, no matter what, we know it's about back home. Because we from originally from motherland, Africa. We love Jamaican. We love Caribbean. We love all black. We blood sticky water. We got to stick together. Uh, peace, peace. You catch us next time, brother, man. Remember, when y'all come up, you got to turn your camera on. Peace, peace. Can you come up? Salam, 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 guys. How are you? Peace, peace. peace. Okay, so I, personally, I, I'm in agreement with you guys. I do feel like there should be land set aside. It should still be set aside, not just for African Americans, but I think initially the plan was to have the land set aside for all descendants of enslaved Africans, right? Right? Correct. Correct. Right, correct. Right. Like, like, you know, you, you, could, you, you could say that at the same time because he was an emperor. He had jurisdiction over the sub-Saharan Africa. 
Like, that's what the throne, like most people, when we talk, we ask them, like, what the, what does the throne of David mean to you? You know, they can't answer the question. You know, Elisha had sat on that throne, so he had that jurisdiction where he could do these things for the African people, which is something he did. Right. And Ethiopians don't want right. to know that African Americans are also a part of and descend from Ethiopia. I don't know what's so hard about sure. this. I don't know either, especially because um, when it came to the war in the 1930s, the main people that came sprinting to our aid were volunteer African-American soldiers. They were the first ones lining up. They're not, they're not getting any support from their own government, but they, on their own dime, came to help us just to maintain an independent nation in Africa. So it's it's embarrassing as an Ethiopian to hear other Ethiopians challenge this this um this ruling that that was put in place during and a lot of people do not respect Haile Selassie for different reasons, right? And that's why um Ethiopians themselves chose to do away with that throne. So because they chose to do away with that throne, they don't respect anything that Haile Selassie might have put in place, right? They don't even respect one another. We don't respect one another. Rather than see each other as brothers and sisters, we are quick to want to figure out what tribe are you? You know what I'm saying? They'll, 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 fi they'll figure out, it's easy to figure out for, for the most part, what, what tribe uh, an Ethiopian comes from, um, comes from just by their name, right? And even in this uh, last war in Ethiopia, it is literally brother killing brother, brother raping sister. You know what I'm saying? But, but they will like black people everywhere. This is a problem with black people worldwide. We are yeah. so caught up. Yeah. We're so caught up in our own differences that we miss the, the fact that China is knee deep in our countries in Africa, knee deep. They, they own so much and folks are, are arguing with other black people about whether they should have land or not. True, yes, we don't even have land for ourselves. That's not a lie. Mm -hmm. But if you have, for anyone that has either lived in Ethiopia or gone to Ethiopia, has been in the capital city, do you see how much property the American embassy has? How much quality land for an embassy? To what purpose? Why do you need that much land for a damn embassy? You understand me? Oh yeah. So it's like we're so caught up, we're so caught up in fighting each other that we don't see other people stealing what is rightfully ours, whether it's in in Ethiopia, whether it's in Kenya, whether it's in um, Australia, whether whether it's in Brazil whether it's in the US, it doesn't matter. Black people fight black people. And, and the only people that benefit from that is everybody but us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in agreement with you. I would rather my brothers and sisters come join me in my country and we grow together, we live together, we build together. You know what I'm saying? We strengthen one another. Then we sit here and argue like that one brother that said the British did not attack Ethiopia. Sir, please. Go, go read your own history because you don't know it. We were literally attacked by almost every European nation. Every European nation. And the no. only time we were aided by outside forces was during Mussolini's reign. And the only people that came to our aid were African Americans. Yeah. That's all I really came on here to say. Outside of that, God bless. Yeah. Hey, 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 so you know, you guys, we'll I am not in disagreement with you, and you know, hey, we'll love to talk with you. Sorry, I could not hear what you said. I say, we'll love Sorry? to speak outside the panel, you know, like, like I said, we, we follow for you sure. for sure. You are my family, you're really my family, and I, so to be honest look, with you, I don't care where your family, your roots, nothing came from. For me, I'm a black person first. 
And if you want to get specific, then we can talk about where my family and all that jazz came from. But for me, I'm a black person first and that's that. But unfortunately, a lot of, you know, because we're so, we're struggling with our own selves. It's hard for people to hear other people. You understand? Because we're, we're troubled within ourselves as, as Ethiopians. We are troubled within my, ourselves. Even I myself, I'm from different tribes. My family comes from different tribes in, uh, in the country. So I can't claim one tribe over another because why should I? I love all my people. Why am I, why am I gonna say, oh, I'm this tribe, I'm that tribe. I don't give a damn to be honest with you. I, I am Ethiopian. You understand me and if uh but like i said earlier more more importantly i'm a black person i'm a black person well you know yeah. the people the people need to hear those words you know from, from an ethiopian to really like i say bridge that gap because there's so much tension between us and, and those people who have this mind frame you know who have their love and who truly understand it's very important that we come together. You know, a lot of times we try to focus on making people trying to understand, but it's already those who already understand. We just got to find those people. Yeah. And so we use platforms yeah. like this for to find those people who have that understanding up here. So we can build. Yeah. So we can unify and restore what's actually ours, you know. God willing. God so, willing. And God is willing. The problem is, are people willing? You understand me? And this is the thing. I uh, what I'm about to say is going to come up across as very disrespectful to a lot of people. But I feel like there are a lot of Ethiopians that do not read their Bible. You understand? They don't know what the word says. Um, they just rely on the teachers to teach them. But if you ever read the Bible, it demands that you read the word. It demands that you understand the word for yourself. You understand? So if people are still, if you're, if you're content getting your information from a middleman, you know, you will always be reliant on that middleman, right? You're not going to get the word. You're not going to understand and get the word from God because you, you so bent on getting it from the middleman. So there'll be a lot of people like you'll hear people criticizing one faith over another faith and whatnot. And it's like, neither one of y'all are following the faith. You understand me? But that's oh, yeah. a conversation for another day. <laughs> I just, you know, I just want to tell you guys, be encouraged. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I want to apologize for the people that are saying ridiculous stuff, like you're delusional, da, 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 da. I understand some of what they're saying that, you know, like what one of the girls was like, we don't even, you know, we don't even have respect from our own government, right? So if we don't have respect for our, from our own government, we need people in positions of power that actually listen to us. We don't need uh, to build the United States part two. Because as you can see now, looking at the, the way this country operates, the power is not with the people. The power is with the corporations. It's in their pockets. Right. You understand me? You can, yes, voting is important. And everybody should be voting if you have the ability to vote. But if you are not voting for people that can produce change, you might as well not have voted. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anyway... That's all I wanted to say. I'm going to give the floor to somebody else now. Uh, I'm a, Let me come follow y'all real quick. Yeah, and we'll thanks. have a, a, a conversation another day, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. Appreciate those words. Uh, you know, we, 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 you know, that's the kind of information we truly needed because, like I said in the day, y'all, this is for love. We are not putting up there we got free land in Africa so we can come there and freeload. No, we come in with helping hands to restore Africa. African Americans got a lot of flavor. So we want to take our flavor back to where we originally come from, to restore it, not to suck it dry like other nations. I think we need to understand this. We're not coming to Africa to suck it dry because we're giving something free. No, we are coming to give, support, restore, Rebuild. 
bring the glory back to Africa. So if you can't see right now, Africa needs the African Americans. You don't need your eyes. You don't need your eyes right now. If you are African, if you in Africa and you can't see the, the Africa needs the African Americans, you don't have eyes. I'm gonna leave it at that, y'all. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yo, peace, peace, peace. How can I turn on the camera? Peace with flashes. How can I turn on the camera? Hold on, real quick. Click on your name, and you're going to see the yeah, camera. Yeah, one second. Peace, 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 man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? You feel me? I'm coming from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am Mike Patterson, Revolutionary for the People's Party. One thing I got to say is, I agree with everything y'all's talking about, right? But we got to overstand something, too. You know, we got to take our authority back. Now, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Now, I said we need to take back our authority. You feel me? We need to take, we need to take back our authority. And I'm going to read the definition for authority because people are giving, up, giving away too much of their power. The definition for authority, the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and enforce obedience. You feel me? A person or organization having power or control in a particular, typically political or administrative sphere. We need to take back our authority. Because we keep putting our hopes and dreams in some outside forces, but as a as, as an individual, you have to stand up for yourself. And then as a collective, we have to stand up for ourselves. You feel me? We can't all this voting for people. That's why this that's why this is like this. You feel me? We gotta take our authority back. We gotta stop being humble, look at the definitions. For the words, you know what I mean, and take back your jurisdiction. Look up the definition. You'll stop being humble. You'll take back your jurisdiction, and you take back your authority. And that's what I teach. You know what I mean? Uh, you catch me on the Mike Patterson show on YouTube. I am Mike Patterson, Revolutionary Leader for the People's Party in Chicago. That's all hey. I want to say, fam. Brother man, you got any questions? Nah, nah. I was just responding and letting you guys know to. Uh, Everybody look at the definition for authority. Don't overlook that. Don't overlook that. That that's very important because you give your authority away. Everybody wonder why the police. Everybody wonder why the police could touch them, put their hands on them. You know what I'm saying? And you got the authority figures. You know illegal occupiers, which would be the government. You feel me? Support the petition to reclaim your treasury. I say, I say, I say. Most definitely. Most definitely. If you scan this right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. I'm on my other phone right now. I'm finna uh, take a picture of that real quick. Hold on. Most definitely. I got it. I just took a picture. I'm all for the movement, baby. I'm all for the movement. You feel me? But I appreciate what y'all doing. Continue to uplift, you know what I'm saying, the planet. You know, we, we need each other. You know what I'm saying? There's no big eyes or little yous around here. We need each other as a collective. You feel me? Um, And that's all I want to say, man. I love y'all. Peace, salute, peace. salute to you, brother. Appreciate that. Love, Joe. Right, it's time for us to take our authority back, but we do it with unity and righteousness and truth. Unity, and righteousness, and truth. Hello. Peace, peace. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me on. You two have such a beautiful, loving aura. Uh, I'm coming on because I just want to mention something. Uh, this is a spiritual war we're fighting. You both know that. You can see, you can feel, you can cut it with a knife, the forces that are coming against you because Satan absolutely hates the truth. People do not read scripture for themselves so that they can be discerning, so that they can have a spiritual conversation. We are in a spiritual war and it is my prayer and it is my hope that the energy that you two beautiful young people, young warriors, young soldiers are out here fighting with, the energy that you have is not wasted on arguing with spirits who are hell bent, literally hell bent on stopping the truth of the message that you have. And I do have a question. How do, 
And I do believe that there is a remnant of the original Jewish people from the house of Judah here in the United States. I do believe that we really don't know who we are because we've not been taught and me media is teaching our children. We're not, to, we, we have failed the generations, but there is a movement out here. And I really honestly wish that there was almost really a dividing line of people who are coming from a loving place, who are willing to learn, who are willing to seek the truth and naysayers. You know, it's either good or it's bad. And in this day, you really do have to pick a side. And God did say he would restore his people. But we need to repent. And that's a whole nother, but the most important subject. But I just want to say, I want to ask, what is your uh, thought? What is your word on the remnants um, of the tribe of Judah that's, that you know is here in the United States? And uh what what is actually what is really holding back um the movement here because it's also simple and the word is simple and you know we really do appreciate all soldiers and your energy so can you speak to the tribe of judah please well like i said th those will be the people who return from africa to restore the priesthood those will be the remnant of people that find the son of man that god have chosen so actually, what you will actually is, is a great question, and it's a reason why we having a lot of quarrel with the other Africans because they don't understand the prophecy of the remnant that was taken from Africa that's gonna return and they're gonna receive their praise because they are the ones that's gonna bring the restoration back. They're gonna restore, you know, they're gonna set stuff back in order. So what you are speaking about is what this really is about. This is this is the sole meaning of why are we even up here. You know, but some people don't understand that language. So we have to use other uh, pointers to get people to the sole purpose. That will be the sole purpose. And that's actually what, what we are doing and what we are part of. You know, we have found that son of man. We are gathering. We have other men and women who also understand this information, and we are coming together, putting our resources to gather these people with these mind frames from all over the world to unite us Africans back together in love, peace, justice, you know, humility. But you can these feel, you can, sorry, you can feel that evil energy, I mean, it's all spiritual. It is all spiritual. And it, and if people don't even give Jesus, Yeshua, the respect to read about him, to form a relationship with him, then how do we expect them to believe our hearts are pure in that we just want to do God's will, to love each other, as he said, and to live in unity, in unity. And the prophecy, these things are going to be fulfilled. Everything is going to be fulfilled. And it, it's so funny, you have a lot of African American people, a lot of people, period, who don't like Christianity, they curse Christianity, um, they don't want to read the scriptures, they don't want, they, they just want to be right about everything. And the thing is, is that I actually went all the way back to the original Bible of the Ethiopian to try to reconcile, okay, what's true, what's not. We know that, that uh, the Romans and the Greeks had a lot to do uh, with organizing the Bible, putting it together, putting in or omitting scripture. So you want to weed out, you know, what's true and what's not. And we see a lot of the parallels, like with the Black Madonna and uh, the white Madonna, the, the, the baby Jesus, and how they copied a lot of what was already written in the Ethiopian, Ethiopian Bible. You got to understand this, sis. You, you only get the word from the lips of God. You don't get the word from the book. So you get the word from the prophet that God sent. But so I do, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Saying that the, the Bible is a parable, it's an allegory. It's sealed just for the Son of Man. So everyone can't understand the Bible because it's an allegory. But I do believe that the spirit of the word of truth is revealed in Scripture because I really had to go back and forth. That really, my soul struggled with that. 
because we all know even if the bible wasn't even in existence god gave us the word through nature no no what what's up so what what you can't say that because if God gave us the word through nature, it wouldn't be no prophets. So God give the word through the flesh because the book tell us the word become what? Flesh. So the word becomes flesh when God's spirit goes in the flesh. But, but see, everything what religion, on earth, all of nature uh, worships all of, the spirit of God. Correct. No, well, not... not you can say that, but worship of God gonna come through who? The Son. But religion have taught us a deity. Religion never taught us about the Spirit. God's Spirit gonna choose the Son. We reading a book, and our minds are imagining God's Son. But are God you saying was... that this that that in the Scripture that we all read? Are you saying to me that the Scripture? We shouldn't even pay it. We shouldn't read scripture. We shouldn't give it any credence. I believe that the Holy Spirit of the word of God, Jesus, the Redeemer, the spirit is in scripture all the but way sis, back to Ethiopian scripture. Now, sis, now, I do believe that. I believe that. Sis, you ever heard God don't dwell in things made with man hands? You familiar with that scripture? Vaguely familiar. Can you repeat that though? I am vaguely repeat, uh, familiar with that because it's, it's, it said, it's really something. Oh, when you're in the spirit, there are things that fly oh, so, around so, in the air. So. And it was something you said at the beginning that well, came to me a couple days ago. And that's what really excited my spirit. And I thought, this is a good place for me to be. Well, yeah. And, and sis, trust me, it, it's even way better than you, than you might know right now. And I think the more you listen, the more you will be filled up to understand and know where you are really coming to. Because remember, the prophecy as in the days of Noah will be in the days of the Son of Man. So everything is among us. But are we blessed to see? Are we blessed to hear? Because God, true blessing, you is going to be able to see. You is going to be able to hear. It also has a scripture where it says the pure at heart is going to see God. Now, God is only seen when God is in the flesh because you can't see a spirit. God is spirit. God is a spirit. So for us to see God, God going to have to be in the flesh. Well, I don't, I can't speak for God as to what his plans are, what his divine imagination is but i know all truth is of god and the holy and the scriptures came about you know god knew what they were going to do with his word the scriptures and all that before the bible was even put together he didn't leave us without a beat to step to like that song Aaliyah has i'm old school so i just use that reference he knew that we would be reading these scriptures and reading these documents. And I do believe that the Holy Spirit, the love of God, the love of the truth, uh, Proverbs, all of those things are divinely inspired. Just put it like that. I do believe that. But there's other knowledge in other places other than just the scriptures. So I would okay. never, ever reject, uh, reject well, the scriptures. I think you got to understand, we're not rejecting the scriptures. We believe in the Bible. So oh, okay. Hard. Okay. But what, what, what people don't understand, the Bible is the will of God. The Bible tells you what God will do in the last days. Okay, we're in agreement. But we think we're reading the word. We're not reading the word. We are reading the will. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're separating Jesus, Yeshua, the son, from what was written. You're separating. Let me ask you, do you? Well, no, well, no, 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 no. Listen, oh. I'm not. No, I'm not separating. Okay. I'm, what I'm literally saying is the Bible is the will of God. That's why the will, this Bible, this is a this is the will of God. This Bible has to be done. It's just like a script. If somebody hand you a script, do you read it or you act it out? Have you read the Ethiopian Bible? 
I got the Ethiopian Bible. I have got, you read? I got, I got, have I got, you man. read the Ethiopian Bible, and have yeah. you compared it to the King James, the 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 yeah. other versions of the Bible? No, but that's not that's not the point. That's at hand. Oh, I was you know what Bible to understand your yeah, depth yeah. of knowledge. That's all. Yes. Well, yes, yes, yes. I, this this is the Ethiopian Bible right here. You have it, but I just wanted so, to know so how right you now, reconcile the two scriptures, you know, because a lot of Christians, a lot of people but, uh, look, don't believe look, not, in the Bible. Look, look, I, I'm not, but the point I'm making is Bible means collection of books. So the Ethiopian right. Bible has a better collection. The, the Council of Nicaea created this one and took certain books out. That's the only difference between the Bibles. That's what Bible actually means. Collection of books. Right. That's why King that. James has 66. And the Ethiopian has 84. Okay. So, so right now, we have to understand, but all these books only tell us what God will do. The Not the word. The word going to come from the one that fulfills the will. That's why the Bible tell you what? The sheep hear my what? Voice. Right. So it's going to be a voice in the earth that you're going to have to hear to hear God. And it is the Holy Spirit you're not gonna have of God. To read the that book. voice is the Holy Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit of God has a reach that permeates everything through the Bible, with the Bible, without the Bible, through the Bible, through all sorts, through chill, through the mouths of children, everything. But what I, and I'm not going to hold you. But what I want to say is, if your goal is to peacefully bring people to knowledge, you can lead them to the water. You can't make them drink it. The thing is, is that you're putting out this energy, and it's frustrating for me as an elder because I'm 60 years old, and I, I'm I'm not saying I'm that much smarter than anybody, but I'm telling you what the spirit is in, in my heart. Um, and do you also remember the Sabbath? Do you do you uh, observe the Sabbath? Well, so, well, 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 I think the Sabbath, I observe the Sabbath according to God, not according to man. The Sabbath is something that's ushered in by Christ. Because the Son of Man is Lord of Sabbath. If you read Matthew 12 and 8. It was not ushered <laughs> in by Christ. The Sabbath was, was observed before Christ. That's what the, the Sabbath is prophecy about the day God going to give us the truth so we can have rest. And that That's word has said. never, that word for, uh, to remember the Sabbath, in, even Jesus remembered, Yeshua, Jesus remembered the Sabbath. I was just wondering if you Look, observed the, the Sabbath. Bible. Because we, Christians... What, what, I read that in the that. scripture. They know that, but they don't observe it. And and you that's Look, that a, you have a lot of people that are not going to end up with the Lord God ma 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 judgment ma because of because of lack of knowledge. Ma'am, ma ma in order to hear new information, you're gonna have to hear what I'm saying because I know what the world is doing. I'm not of the world. So the world not keeping the Sabbath day. The Hebrews, the uh the the, the, the people who go to church because they not with the Lord. I keep if the Sabbath. Back, I keep eight. the Sabbath, and I don't want to be of the look. world either. That's why I wanted to come to you on a spiritual level in hopes look. that you would understand where my heart was look. coming look. from. I know, but you are not listening to nothing I'm saying. No, I am. I can repeat what you said verbatim. I'm sorry to interrupt it. I'm a little excited about the your um, you know, your podcast here. Okay, that's what I'm saying, but. The Son of Man is Lord of Sabbath. How can you keep the Sabbath day when you don't know who the Lord is? So what you are keeping, the Sabbath day that Isaiah told us to get away. Isaiah told us to get, get rid of your Sabbath because that's your Sabbath day. God's Sabbath day is going to be ushered in by a Son of Man, which will be Christ. Anyone that is keeping the Sabbath right now has a very special relationship with God. If you keep the yeah. Sabbath, you know that day of rest is about the, What's it's the, a simple thing. You, it's about love that said, God no, had for us. Nowhere did Jesus say, do not observe the Sabbath because I'm here and I'm king of the Sabbath. I, and a lot of people Sabbath. don't. And God's word has never 
has has never been nullified. When he said, "Remember the Sabbath," that is for that is until judgment. You know what I'm so, saying? What is your Sabbath day? You you believe it's a man made day? You believe no, it's Saturday? No, I don't believe it's a man made day. I believe the Sabbath. I I look at the Sabbath as the same time that Yeshua Jesus observed the Sabbath. That's my that's my uh, frame of is reference. This there, Christ the Sabbath. I'm sorry, dear. Isn't Christ the Sabbath? Christ is the King of the Sabbath. Yes, but the Word came before, and the Word has never gone away. Remember the Sabbath, and it's not something to argue about. The Sabbath is a day to commune with God and to be obedient. When He said to rest, I mean rest. Preachers and ushers and people work at the church on on uh, on Sunday. That's not rest. I'm just saying, I, I for people who observe the Sabbath, to me, that oh, is a, that, that's a loving thing and it's an obedient thing and it's a very special realm to be mm -hmm. in. If you light that candle from sundown Friday and you keep that 24 hour till sundown Saturday, something happens to your spirit. Something happens to you where you are you're communing with God, you're doing what he told you to do. And so therefore you're a follower and you are part of his sheep and you hear his word. And it is always the energy of Satan to invert and to try to do away with everything that Christ did. And there was a reason why they changed, why they got rid of the Sabbath, tried to get rid of the Sabbath, the Catholics, and then everybody, it had everybody just worship on, sun, on, on Sunday. So it's disobedient. So I just gauge where people are spiritually, for myself, not judging, just gauging um, if they observe the Sabbath. Gotta, or if they gotta don't. understand where we're coming from. We don't believe in the 2,000 year old Christ. We know that's false. We know that's Roman, doc Roman doctrine. You don't believe that the word was made flesh? No, the word it is the word. flesh. The, the word, word. <laughs> the word is flesh right now on the earth. Can you see, sis? This is what you agreed to me about. Okay. You agreed to me that the blessing of God is what you seeing and hearing, right? I, I I'm in agreement. Okay. So wh why do you have to see and hear? Because you got to see the vessel that God chose, not the one that you will read about. So the blessing right now, the word is flesh in the earth. And it says what? We beheld this glory, but the darkness couldn't comprehend it. So right now, a son of man, just as prophecy tell you, is in the earth speaking to the people. But guess what they're doing to him? They're rejecting him, just like they did Noah. God is not a God of confusion. And I think what you're saying, I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it's not true. Um, but people need to, things need to be kept simple for people to want to, to learn more because confusion just totally pushes people away. And everything I spoke of was very, very simple, but I'm still so, saying, so, like I said, so you know what the confusion is. is. So she know what I'm, the I'm, I'm not confused. I'm not confused so, because when you walk in the spirit, God will get rid of all that uh, confusion. Ma'am, ma you, you've, you've been talking a very, you've been talking a lot for to say you came on a panel How do I to receive myself? counsel. You know, so right now, we just told you the son of man on earth. And you know what you told us? You I don't know about the son, the son. I don't know about the, the son of man. Oh, so guess on what? Earth. Oh, okay. I don't know about well, that. Well, well, well ma'am, well, well, listen to what you agreed to then. Except the word. Well, guess what? You don't have the blessing of God because you agree the blessing because you said keep it simple. Listen, listen. You said keep it simple. The blessing is simple. You can see, you can hear. That's the blessing. Simple. Now, have you seen or have you heard the son of man that God chose? You said no. So guess what you disagreed to? You don't have the blessing. Oh no, you you I'm not gonna allow you, sir, respectfully, or anyone to speak that over my head and tell me that I have any disconnection with God and his blessings. What I will say when I was young, Jesus, the image of Jesus came to me in a dream, and it was a very profound experience. You don't know who I am, so therefore you can't really judge my depth of knowledge or experience. But if you speak something over my head, 
don't speak and say that I don't have the blessings of God or this, that, and the other, because that gives me a bad feeling. I wish you all of God's blessings and knowledge. And no matter what you know, or what you think you know, there's always more knowledge that you don't know and that you need to okay. know. So I won't condescend to you in that way. But I just want to say Man. thank you so Man. much for bringing me on. I'm going to I'm gonna drop off now. But I wish you okay, everything, well, thank you. Thank everything you. good, the both of you. Thank and you. I sense the love coming from you. And that's why I wanted to come in and put my little two, my two cents in. And and that's right. that's all it was, sir. Thank you so much. I know I talk a lot, but I'm grown. I'm 60 years old. I have stuff to say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So let's do a recap on that conversation because she was humble, but like she said, she was a little talking to. But that's why, but we don't, we talk so much, we cause confusion and we don't hear what we actually say. So I clearly asked her, what is the blessing of God? She said, to see and hear. She said she agreed. Okay, let's keep it simple. What have you seen and what have you heard? Because if the word become flesh, then you must see the flesh. See the flesh. You must hear what? The flesh talking. That's all I was trying to reveal. And this is Bible prophecy. In person. And this is why it says what? As in the days of Noah will be what? The days of the Son of Man. This is the days of the Son of Man. Where the son of man is on earth. Can you hear? Can you see who that son of man is? That's, that's, that's the blessing. Hey, how you doing? Simple blessing right there. How you doing, guys? Peace, peace. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, do, you, do you believe uh, Jesus is the son of God? I don't believe, I believe that's a prophecy story that's happening now. I don't believe it's a 2,000 year old prophet. So I, I have understanding of the story. And I, also, you got to cam up, man. You're going to be on here. Uh, so I don't necessarily believe in the doctrine that, that's in the earth, but I have understanding of the prophecy. But um, you're going to have to cam up to the team in the conversation, brother, man. All right. If, if you don't believe uh, that Jesus the son of god i don't believe the description or bibles written in, in english how do you see that i'm sorry say that again <laughs> if you don't believe jesus is the son of uh, uh, the son of god i don't believe a written Bible in English. He doesn't believe in Bible. You know what I mean? In Bible in English? Oh, that's why I say, uh, I do, that's why I say, I understand Jesus is the Son of God according to the truth, not according yeah. to the 2,000 year old because, prophecy. Because, I don't, you know. He kind of breaking up. <clears throat> When I do it, was all over. You know, Bible interpreted by different language. I can't understand you, brother. You have bad connection. Can you hear me? I can hear you say it again, but I can't really understand what you're saying. This lady was waiting for a while. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. Peace. I just got, I just got questions. That's it. It's like, 
three questions, if that's okay. That's good. All right, All right so first question. I'm I talking about working at the same time. Game sign? Huh? You up a game sign? No, I just did three. Oh. I just had three questions. I just want to, I'm very, you know what I mean, show my hands. But um, I just had a question like, so I want to know, like, are y'all Hebrew Israelites? Or like, no. what's y'all faith? Okay, so not Hebrew Israelites. And okay, so have y'all ever traveled to Ethiopia or been to Africa before? No, nah, we haven't been. Not yet. Okay. And so like, with what you guys are talking about, I'm changing it from the religion thing, going back to the land thing. Like, what are y'all intentions as far as when y'all are speaking about Ethiopia and the land? Do y'all have any plans that um, y'all have kind of like written out as far as what you're going to do when you get there and how you're going to be an asset to that area and how their system works and things like that? Oh, yeah. Like I said, um, we're actually coming back to restore Ethiopia. Ethiopia is going to be restored by the African Americans. This is Bible prophecy. So this is more biblical. This is, this is, yeah, you know, this is biblical prophecy more than us just two people trying to go back, you know, to Ethiopia, you know, to, to, to just stop Ethiopia. So we're actually coming back to restore Ethiopia, which is where the Bible and all these uh, scriptures come from. Okay, so y'all main so the main um point of the conversation is y'all just are basically saying that uh your belief system is that you're going back to restore Ethiopia, but just in general speaking that, but not in general like having a plan or like cuz you know like me, um I I've, I've been to Ghana. My husband is African. I traveled to Africa a bit and um at least about 3 4 times couple of months and stuff so that's why i was curious like when y'all y'all talking about i was like i hear what you're saying on that part but i was curious about if you actually had like plans and developments and knowing the because when you get to africa i understand what you're saying with that um part but the mindset in everything that they deal with is another aspect of things so i just was curious that's it that's why I'm, I'm like Yaju has a petition to judge the Roman Catholic Church to get the Pope off the throne because these people are still in cahoots with the Ethiopian government. So it's about revealing the lies and destroying the devil. Like that's really what the movement is about. You know, okay. Going right. when we're going is about putting David back, putting David back on. The yeah, you know, it's almost like we are. We are like right now, this is dealing with a royal priesthood. So things mm -hmm. are going to be to us. So mm -hmm. we can govern Ethiopia in a righteous way. And that's why I say, but this is the politics side that we know nothing about. But the politics side is mixed up with the lies of religion. So when mm -hmm. you say certain things, people can't hear. They hear, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus. They hear, uh, you know, Baptized, they hear church because they don't. We don't know the truth. We just, we just mixed up in a bunch of confusion. But the Bible is really a politician book. The Bible is about a government. So if the Bible is about a government, then the Bible is about what? Politicians. Politicians are priests. But see, America got everything with uniforms on, and we don't really understand these things. But that's why I say, so this is all connected to biblical prophecy. So our plan is just to restore. We're going to fit in with the culture because that's where we come from. They're going to welcome us back with gifts because of what mm -hmm. we're going to bring and the assets we're going to bring. We're not going to Africa to take from Africa. we actually going to unite Africa. Africa, again, is going to be united by the African Americans. That's, mm -hmm. that's like the United States was built what? By these Africans. So, okay. yeah. Africa is going to be restored by us but the, okay. but the world and a lot of Africans don't really know this but this is by also Bible prophecy okay well I'm not going to get into it because the one thing I know I don't me personally I don't kind of like getting into discussions as far as that aspect because at the end of the day I can say what I want to say you can say what you want to say but if the understanding is not there, it's not going to get anywhere and it's going to be conflict. But I respect I respect where you're coming from. Um, but I do say 
I do encourage you guys um, to check out and visit maybe even Ghana the first time or Ethiopia the first time, or wherever you want to visit, you know, set up some savings, PayPal, and go check out the country, you know what I'm saying, first, and see, see what it's about. And then I think, too, when you'll be able to talk to people, you'll have a, a broader range. You know what I mean? A broader range when you're talking. Because once you get into that, that country and that area, you start to see and kind of, I don't know how I feel. You kind of see and understand where they're coming from, and it better help you explain where you're coming from. You know what I mean? Because well, yeah, our culture yeah, yeah. and our mindset is so different. And I, like I say, I think if, if we was just two people that just was trying to go to a country, yeah, I, I, I would I would go about doing that and following that path. I, I don't understand where you're coming from, but that's why I say this just it's just a little bit bigger than what people think. You know, like I said, we, we don't really see the bigger picture of what's really been to take place here. You know, we don't we we don't understand. That's just like if a Chinese man can go in Africa when he feel like it, and he's not an African American, why is me an African, a true African? Why can't I just go in Africa and fit in? If they can do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, like these things, we have to remove fear. See what I'm saying? So if they can do this, if a, if a Chinese man can walk in Africa and just set up, then I can do it too. You know? Because I, I, I am a true African. You can do it. But let you know, me, but, I'm going to say this. I'm going to zone out. When I, when I went to Ghana, like I said, I've been to Ghana three times. I stayed there about three, six months, all that at a time. Um... Just some things, just from a culture, I don't know if you know about that. Let's say, for example, if you was buying property in Ghana. Let's just say you was doing that, buying property in Ghana. There are things that they have put in place as far as where their culture and understanding is, um, where you can purchase this land. You could build it up, have everything that, you know, you wanted on there. Then someone will come back and say that that is their family land from decades ago. If you ain't got the proper paper, if you ain't had everything checked out, that what you build is now theirs. So I'm just saying that, but y'all do you, and I'm going to come on down. All right. Peace, peace. Salute to you. From, from, from the perspective of, 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 of crossing your T's and dotting your I's, she was, she was correct. But it's like I said, but from what we doing, you must understand, we ain't got to do that. Most people don't under, truly understand what we what we actually doing to to a level. So, and so those are only the concerns a natural person will have, which are nothing is wrong. But like I said, it's just a little bit bigger than what people think. But what's going on, brother man? Peace, peace. Peace to you, my brother. Um, I have a question. Um, the information, the claims that you're making, are you getting them from the Bible? It's a question. What What you mean? Like I, I don't know what you mean when I'm claiming. I don't like the stuff that you're saying. Like the stuff that you were saying just now. Are you like, like information? Like, All right. Like, so, like what? All right, what's your religion? First of all, what's your religion? I don't have religion. Oh, but you got you got you to put your camera on. Oh, you got to turn your I camera. I think on. it's on. I thought it. I, I'm trying. I've never put it on before. I, I'm seeing myself like it's in the camera. Let me see. Save. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So um, I, I was wondering, are you are you from the Rastafarian religion? You said not no, a religion, I, but it's oh, okay. I, I don't have a religion. Oh, you don't have a religion. Okay, I thought you were making claims. I thought you were you were saying no, no, stuff about no, Jesus no. and you were quoting the well, Bible. If we if we want to make something, yeah, I am like because what I understand, the son of David is walking the earth, but the son of David was gonna come from among the people. Just as all the prophets did. Religion teaches us that he's gonna crack the sky or come back some mysterious way. You know? I got you. So, so that, that's the claim I, I was talking about. Where are you getting where are you getting the information from? That that's my question. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, I do read the Bible, the Quran, so I believe in the holy books. I just don't believe in the teachings that come from religion and man. But I believe in the prophetic writings as these are things that's gonna happen rather than they're gonna be taught to you. Like, people try to teach the Bible when the things in the Bible going to happen rather than be taught to you. So, uh, so, so, you're, um, so you're saying that the Bible is, is correct. That's what I'm trying to get, get at. Like, is the Bible your source of information and you're saying the Bible is correct? 
That's what I'm trying to ask. Well, God, well, God is my source. The Bible just is the information. All right, so let me and the let will me, of for clarification and, and not to seem like I'm I'm being deceptive. I'm agnostic. I'm an agnostic atheist. So that's what I'm trying to find out. How are you getting this information? You're, you're claiming a God. Like, do you have proof that that God exists? I can prove God exists. Right now? Do you see leaves moving on your tree? You yeah, ever seen just... leaves move? Let's like, answer the question. I'm answering. But no, no, I know, off. but I'm not cutting you off. I just said, have you ever seen leaves move on a tree? Open my mouth to answer, and then you said something else. So that's cutting me off. I'm, I'm with all due respect. So let me answer. Leaves moving is just proof of leaf moving. Not because you don't know how the leaf move. The leaf move because of how the earth circulates. The the how the earth move. It's movement of the the earth. That's how wind form and wind move the the, the leaves. That's all that is. So, I don't see the connection so, so, between God and the God. Right? So you huh? said wind, right? Yeah, I think I answered so, your question. So so have you ever seen wind? I feel it. You have five ways. You have five oh, senses to detect him. Oh, hey, I'm answering. Hold on, hold on, I'm answering. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on bro. Listen, listen, let, let me show you what I'm doing. I, okay. I'm only asking you. I'm only asking you so you so you can say yes or no, so I can make my point about. No, how but I'm that's going. not fair. Yes or no answer is not fair. I got to tell well, you why. No, I, 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 that's not fair. If you say yes or no, I'm gonna give you the floor. Like I'm gonna give you the floor to speak. No, I don't want right to speak. I want to ask questions. I, I want answers. I don't want to speak. Honestly, I just want answers. But we're trying to get a standpoint so we can, so you can get your standpoint after. Okay, it's your, you're the whole, so I'll, I'll be quiet and listen. Go ahead. I'm, I, 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 I thought you knew that when you first came on. So, so yeah, basically, I, I was just like the wind because that's the way God is. Like you said, you never seen the wind, but, but you I can feel it. it. Yeah. But, but it also make what? The, the something invisible makes something physical move. Nature teaches us this, right? Nature shows us that what we see, like right now, the wind blowing, everything mm -hmm. out there moving. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, what's making it move? We don't know. Yes, but I just told you the movement of the earth. Listen, the listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You. That's man teaching. So you believe you don't believe in God, but you believe. And that. let me I finish, never bro. That. I never said that. Hey, I never said hey, that. Hey, I'm gonna said that. The floor. Just just, 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 matter of fact, just, just go on mute for me right quick. I got to say something because I never said that. But I'll, I'll be quiet. No, just, just go on mute till I finish and then I'm going to give you the floor. I don't know what people don't understand. If I'm talking and you talking, I can't even hear what you say. But if you say something that's not true, I got to stop you. Okay. So, brother man, keep mute your mic. If not, we're going to move to the next person. So... I was asking the brother a series of questions because he told me what? To prove God, right? Now, nature teaches us that what? God is real. And you don't, the book even tell you, no eye has ever seen God. Matter of fact, we're going to get the script. Get the scriptures for me. No eye has ever seen God. No eye has ever seen the wind. What does nature teach us? Something is invisible. But guess what you can do? You can also feel the invisible. Nature teaches us that. Brother man also taught me that, brother man. You taught me something today. So if we can feel the invisible and God is invisible, then what does nature teach us? We can what? Now we can feel God. We can't see God, but we can feel God. Because nature teaches us we can feel the invisible. What does nature also teaches us? The invisible makes the physical move. Nature also teaches us. The invisible makes the physical move. I don't have to go to the book. I can look outside. The leaves still moving. I guess God's doing it, right? So God's spirit is just like the wind. It picks the flesh up and put the flesh up high to become the most high, to bring the most high's information. That's how God is real. This is what nature teaches us. These don't come from scriptures. Scriptures tell us that nature teaches this. So I know you might not believe it, but that's how I prove 
God is real. So the floor is yours. With all due respect, what you proved is, you're, what you're, all right, let me see if I understand what you're saying. You're saying that because nature shows us that things can be invisible and be felt, therefore God. That's a claim. How do you get the connection that just because there are things that are invisible that you could feel, that means there is a God? I don't see the God connection. Is no, you're making a claim. You're saying God is invisible. How do you know God is invisible? That's what the, that's what the book say. That's, that's Moses... what I'm going back to. The, the, the book that you're talking about is copies of copies, translations of translations. It's written in Greek. And Greeks are famous for all the gods. Ra came from the Greeks. Apollo came from the Greeks. You look it up. Man. Am I making, like, am I lying? You're looking up. Am I lying? This, we're not talking about the Greeks. We're the Greeks wrote about... the Bible. The Greeks wrote the, 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 the Bible. The Greeks were part. The Greeks were, the, the Hebrews and the Greeks wrote the Bible. Listen, brother. You worry about the wrong thing. No, I'm not. Nobody told you. I'm, no, you got to think. Hey, you got to think. Listen, you you better think. read the Bible. You said the floor was mine. You said the floor was mine, but you can take it back. You, you asked me a question. Yeah, I'm responding you to what you're question? saying. I, I'm asking a question, but then I'm asking for clarification. All I'm doing is asking questions, my brother. Okay, well, well listen, well, I, 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 I'm going to give you clarity if I be quiet. Okay, I'm going to No, but you gave me the floor. You gave me the floor to respond. But you asked ask me for clarity, brother. I was just going to give you a short answer, and I was going to give you the floor back. But I can't give clarity if I'm quiet. But go ahead. You, it's the floor is yours. You are correct. So go ahead. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. What you're telling me is... Because we don't know how the wind is invisible and we can feel it, therefore a God. That's, that's an argument from, from ignorance. That, that's making an assumption. That's not proof. And I'm done. That's what I'm trying to say. You said, you, you said, you, you see Ben said that. But, but brother man, proof is the invisible makes physical things move. Yes, Nature I agree. proves that. I agree. Science, okay, okay. This nature is the original science. So if if something invisible makes the physical move, where is God? Nobody sees. Because if if anybody really seen God with their two eyes, they'll be showing everybody. It'll be on every news station. But guess what, man? You never seen God. So logical, common sense, my five senses tell me we can't see God. And even when I read the holy book from the prophets, the pastor didn't teach me this. They told me Jesus was God. So the Bible, the holy writings, says God is invisible. And it makes common sense. Because when I look at the invisible wind, it's very powerful. Wind can knock down anything. At the same time, be what? It can feel good. So God can destroy anything. But at the same time, it can feel good. Because when you hot, a, a sunny, uh, a breeze on a hot sunny day feels beautiful. Go out and work in the sun and you will find out. I so do work in the sun. All, all these attributes <laughs> prove that what? Common sense. I can't see God. But guess what I can do? I can be moved by God and I can feel God. And when I'm moved and when I, when I, when I, when I can feel God, that's what nature teaches me, brother. That's just how I know God is real. That's common sense. Okay, so you said you, you, um, I don't, you're done. I, I don't want to seem like I'm rude and interp um, in, interrupting you. So you're done. So you said nobody has seen God, but Jacob fought with fought with God, physically fought with God. The God of this world. So remember, no, the I'm, devil I'm is going the according God. to what the Bible said. I'm going, so the Bible says Jacob fought with God. So that's seen God. The Bible. The Bible also says what? Exactly, no it's contradiction. So going back. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible also says no man is worthy what? To look upon the book. Did you know that part? See, everybody want to... Contradiction. Go to contradiction. You just proved the contradiction. Because some parts of the Bible says men have seen God and other parts says no man has seen God. So that's what no. I'm saying. It's a book of contradictions. No, 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 no. no. The, show, me, show me the verse where it says man has seen God. So if, 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 if a guy fights with God... He's seen you have to see something to fight you like he no, said he saw fight God of this world. So what does that mean? That means the devil. The devil is the God of this world. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, it does say that. 
Okay, so the devil is a god too. The Bible says even us are gods. Okay, but guess what? It's one true God. But we're talking about we're talking about the God Almighty. That's the God we're talking about. No, you're not the God Almighty. I never you're said that. I said that's what. No, see, you don't. Okay, you then. So I never said God. that. I never said I was. Okay, so the God Almighty mm -hmm. is not just a regular God. It's the Almighty God. It's the God. Oh, so you above believe in God. multiple gods? That's I'm. That's I see. No. I'm just asking questions. No, I'm just telling you they but are you just multiple said, You just God. said Satan was God and there's God Almighty. So that's multiple. That's more than one. They are multiple gods. I don't oh, believe in them. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you they are multiple gods. I'm telling you it's one true God. Mm -hmm. I believe in the one true God, not the multiple gods. But they are multiple gods. So by believe you mean worship? Because I, 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 what, what, what's the meaning of belief in, 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 in your explanation? Whatever word, whatever word that... Feel good for you? You can put worship. I'm asking. You can put believe or you can mm -hmm. put no. Either word you want to put there, you can use. It's the one, though. Just the one. Not the multiple. Just the one. All right. So my next question would be, why is, in, why is belief so important over knowledge? Because b belief is what's going to determine your imagination. Because before you do anything, you got to imagine it. So if I believe I can be lifted up by something invisible... I ain't got to imagine nobody else. I'm going to be short, brother. That one word. So if I, if I believe in something invisible, then my imagination is not going to be waiting for something to come back to give me something. I can be picked up by the invisible. So I don't have to wait on a book. I don't have to wait on a false god. I don't have to wait on the sun. I just got to connect myself. That's why it's all about thought. Because thought is what? I can't see what you're thinking, right? You can't see what I'm thinking. Until I open my mouth, until I do it. So if I believe in the invisible, I got a greater imagination than believing in something what? That my physical eyes can see. Because I might be waiting on it and it might never show up. So you might believe in mama because you can see mama. You might believe in daddy because you can see daddy. You might believe in your job because you can see your money. But that's not belief, that's knowledge. That's so not belief, that's knowledge. Imagination that's somebody who believes in things you can see. I think your question is belief believe with knowledge. Important. My question was why is belief so important than knowledge? That was my question. Because imagine Can we agree? Wait, can we agree that belief is different from knowledge? Can we at least agree? Belief is different from knowledge. Not really because when you know when you know something you don't have to believe. You know something you don't have to brother, believe no you more. You believe it's not a god, so you gotta believe. Everybody huh? got to believe. Knowledge and belief is not the same. That's what yeah, so we agree. Oh, oh that's so what I'm saying. So, oh, knowledge oh, and belief okay. is not the same thing. We're in agreement. So knowledge is gonna determine your beliefs. You got the knowledge to believe what? God is not real. I got the knowledge to show you God is real. Said that. You, that's believe. the third time you did that. That's the third time you did that. I never said that. You know what an agnostic is? It's a person that 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 doesn't know. Hey, what my gnostic brother? I I read the gnostic books. I didn't say I gnostic. gnostic. I said I, agnostic. A person that is not is, is on the fence. That's the simple way brother. to put it. A person that's on the fence. Brother, mm -hmm. man, I'm on neither side. I don't know. If you knew. You Let me just explain what, what an agnostic is. A person that's waiting for proof. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, and this is what I always say, brother. Mm -hmm. My best conversation be with atheists. You know why? Because you don't have an indoctrination. That's what I know. I'm to prove God is real. That's what, that's what the whole Israel is about. Israel is not an ancient word. Israel is those that's going to prove what God is real by what they do and by what they say. That's like right now, for you to know a tornado coming, you are gonna what? You are gonna see stuff being towed up or picked up. You are gonna see stuff being moved. So the same way you know how God coming, God gonna move people like a whirlwind. You gonna see these people moving, and guess what you gonna say? Damn, God is real. So. Atheists are actually in the best place because when you're a Christian, you're looking up like this. When you're a Muslim, 
you saying he already dead. When you a Catholic, you look in the mirror. But when you are atheist, you in a safe place. Because you waiting on the proof. And God will bring the proof. I respect you it's for saying that. I respect you for saying that. Honestly, I respect you for saying that. Because most Christians in your chat are bashing me. Like, I don't know what's wrong with saying, okay, you... My, my point is, and I respect you for saying that, honestly. My point is, if you have an extraordinary claim, I'm going to require extraordinary evidence. If you tell me that to your left, you have a unicorn, you, you got to prove that because that's extraordinary. But if you tell me that your, your bathroom is painted in yellow, I could take that because bathrooms are painted in yellow all over the world. That's just my stand. So I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just asking questions because, first of all, I, I respect that you see yourself in your religion. Most Christians, when they close their eyes, they see a white guy on a cross. Not even representing them. So I respect That's what, what you're doing. Because at least you're seeing yourself in your religion. But I don't have a religion. I have No, right but now, you got... Right. All right, so I might, you, might have used the wrong the, word. But you got, you, you're getting the concept of I what have I'm a saying. petition to judge the wrong Catholic church. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is you see yourself in whatever you believe. Most Christians, they don't see themselves in their belief. When they close their eyes and, and they imagine their God, you're seeing this white guy in the sky sitting on a throne. So that's what I'm saying. I respect what you're doing. But all I'm saying is, I'll, from, from there's thousands of different religions. So I'm holding off my belief until I get some knowledge to support my belief. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be mean. That's why I'm asking questions. So don't well, think I'm trying to be mean or trying to... You know, get you trapped into no, some corner. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to understand. Well, and, and, and that's and uh, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give understanding. Yeah. Like, so, all I'm trying to do is give understanding. But I off like being adversarial for no reason. From, well, yeah, that's I, what I, I think. I, I could be wrong. I guess been. So I guess huh? you came with your chest out. And I always nah, got I mine out. No, I was asking questions. Okay. I've, I've never made a claim since I've been, in, been on here. I've never made any suggestion. All I've, I've been doing asking questions, and I'm asking for clarifications from your answer, and try to show you like where I, I where I part from what you're saying. That was it. So it was a good talk, brother. I, I hope we end on a good note. That's all I'm saying. I'm, and yeah, and, 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 and honestly, you give me you give me the best explanation so far from all these TikTok people that are religious. You're not religious, so but I'm just saying at least what you're saying kind of makes sense more than what they're saying. Not that I believe, but like you've you've come the closest. I me mean, like sit back and think for a minute. Like wait a minute. Like what did he just say? So you know what I'm saying. But then with my critical brain, I still worked it out. I, I'm still not seeing the connection between the wind and the god because the wind is the wind and the god is a god. But I I do respect how you put it across. You you had me thinking, and that's what I like. That, you know what I'm saying. So and what I, is I got about? more, my brother. I'm my in summary. I'm saying the Bible is written by men. It's full of contradictions. It's rewritten, re-edited over and over again. So I, I'm not convinced. But you took me away from the Bible. That's what I'm saying I respect. You took me away from the Bible and made me think outside of the Bible. So I respect that. Not convinced, but good talk, my brother. Salute to you, brother, man. Peace, peace. All right. How do I get myself out? I'll you could kick down. me out because I... I... I get you down. I came the closest though, y'all. That's a, that's all we need to say. If somebody can say that, we've done our job. That means, guess what? A seed was planted. That's all we can do. A seed was planted. Hi, everyone. Hold on. Let me turn my camera on. On, on, on. Okay. Hello. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Hi, um, it was just so much was going on. I didn't had so many points, but I didn't forget. But you know what? I'm going to say this to say, um, what's really important is, no, 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 no. First, let me say this, that I think every black person that is a Christian is delusional. I say that. Um, I'm going to make that clear because common sense, what the same God that the white man gave you that kept you in slavery is going to be the same God that saved you 
come down and save you. So look, I don't even want to go through with religion because I got a whole much, whole much to say about that. But what I would like to say is that we as black people every in every diaspora should come together because one of the main nations of people that are being uh, still enslaved and harming themselves, not knowing, is African-American. Why? Because we still want to be on this ideology of whatever the white man wants to tell us. They still want to educate their children uh, with this education system. However, that's not the point. The fact of the matter is we need to get every diaspora of black people together and help the African-Americans get the fuck out of the United States. Why? Because it is poison. Why do you want to stay where poison is continuously being poisoned? And they're poisoning us and they're poisoning us. So at the end of the day, instead of everybody wanting to know, believe, say, I am, I'm not, we all are who we are. And if you are a Christian and you read the Bible, if, if you really are a Christian, Christian, a devout Christian, you would know what the word says. It says you can look in a, in a, a stick what, what the what the what the verse said? When you look in the walls, the brick, and I'm not there. Is in the body. The the spirit of God is in the body. So therefore, you when you look in the mirror, you are looking at God. You're looking at him, her. You understand? Because it's it's not him or her. It's actually feminine and masculine. You understand? And when you got feminine and masculine like you two, you understand? You come together as one and do what you you make, you create. So. God, you want to get into it, is a title. Honestly, so it's source that everyone is talking about. Source everybody wants to, to come, come close with. However, but that's all I wanted to say and just enlighten a lot of people and say, you know what? We need to just unlearn everything we learned and go back to when we were helping each other. We were raising each other. We were loving each other. You understand? Remember that saying, it takes a village to raise a child? You don't hear that no more. You don't see that no more. Because it's it's come so bad. People oh, hate you know, it, it, it. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, see, see where I'm from, I'm from like the country, I'm from Louisiana. So when I first got in the Uber, we'll never have to call an Uber to take us nowhere. Mm -hmm. I felt so, I felt, I felt like I was I in like another it. world. And in the car with a stranger, like this ain't, this ain't, how, this ain't how we was raised, but I talked to an older man. He say a black person couldn't be walking. He couldn't walk a mile before somebody stopped and say, where you going? I'll take you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We need that. It's cars on the road. We won't stop and pick up nobody. You, you know, know why? You, you know why? Because we, it's pardon not, me, I apologize. Go ahead. You know, and that's why I say, if we was to go back to Africa, I promise you, it will be like that because we're not we in this kind of society where you know we. It, it, it forced us to be this way. You see what I'm saying? But Africa got to be built up. And you just, when you people, what do you build? Relationships. Mm -hmm. So if we mm -hmm. go into Africa to rebuild it, we working with one. What we going to form? Relationships. Exactly. And this is, you're right. You're totally right. And I applaud you guys. I say, I say, I say, I say. I applaud you too. You hear me in prison, Emperor? I applaud you because at least you have the will, the strength, and you put everything down to hear people and to speak your truth and your knowledge. And I, I, I see a lot of everybody in the comments. But you know what? At the end of the day, nothing is going to be fixed until you look at yourself. Nothing in this world will be fixed until people start looking at themselves. And looking for the God in them. You have to look within, not without anymore. 
it is time. Prophecy, Bible. Yeah, I used to be a Christian. I have no religion. I have no religion. That never sat right with me. Do you understand? Grown woman now. I'm not. I, I was forced that religion on me because my parents. You understand? So yeah. I did what I did. But like energy, energy. We have to. We have to. Energy. I, that's all I can say because it's a fact. Everything is energy and it transmutes. Okay? The essence of God is in us. Why are people looking for someone to come out the sky? We got to help ourselves. And it starts with helping our family, family, kinfolk, skin folk, whatever, however. You understand? But like, pardon me, like you were saying, you won't pick up no, that's because the day and time we live in and how we were conditioned. And for real, you can't trust nobody. You can't trust anybody the time we're in. But if we take the time to heal, take the time to start healing, we can. Because me, myself, I still open my door to people. I ain't scared. I know who I am. I know my ancestors. I know I'm well protected. I give my clothes off my back. Yeah, yeah. You know, some some people have a gift where they can read people. They can they can feel people. Like I say, it's an energy I thing. Well, I wish I could. Because <laughs> people energy. do me dirty. Yeah, you gonna know. You gonna know how far they are gonna go. Like 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 when you meet certain people, you be around them long enough. You know how far they can go. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know you dealing with at the end of the day because everybody gonna show what we are, we said true colors, but. That's that, that's that Hebrew language that I be trying to tell my people we still speak. That's a spiritual language. That means you are a certain color. To show your true colors, everybody got a color. And they going to show it. And that's how you know who they are. So that's that language to get us back to our spirituality, you know, to truly help us to understand, you know, the gift that yeah. we have inside. You know, because everything you said it right. Spirituality is what you take in mm -hmm. that's gonna, you know, control your thoughts. You know, yep. and that's why we start learning yep. things. We start blocking our minds for certain things because why? We don't want it in our minds. Just like you don't eat shit, you don't go around eating shit. So when somebody feeding you what the bull that comes from the mouth, mm -hmm. you gotta get away from it. Your mind don't want to eat that. So all this shaping is so we can get away from that. Then we can get our glow on. Mm -hmm. and then we can shine bright. Mm -hmm. That's when that glow gets turned. You're right. When we get away from this pull that's coming from people's lips. From, yep. that's feeding from the curse. The, yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, and that's that's what we come on. Uh, one more thing. I a solid truth that you can stand on. Not that you could draw mm -hmm. it. Yep. Because we're nope. not teaching. We're telling you. We're not coming up mm -hmm. here to teach you. We're coming up here to tell you. And what Enlighten, you, pretty much. Is the, you can take it. You can leave it. Or it's pure food. Mm -hmm. So that's but, what the truth is. It puts you on a foundation where you can grow. You, yes. It don't put you in the classroom. You well, what? It's slowing you down. A classroom yep. slow you down. Yeah. Either somebody's showing you what to do or they telling you what to do. So they telling you what's wrong, they telling you what's right. That's that's all this world is about. Uh pardon me real quick. And I want to set the record straight because I'm seeing people inside the comment. Yes, I do know that we are not all African. Okay. I know I'm not African. You can clearly see ain't nothing African about me. Okay, and I know I'm a, I myself I come from Geechee, Gullah Geechee. Okay. Um, however, only 10% of Africans, maybe six percent really came. I was taught that at 16 came from Africa. However, everyone in the world derived from Africa, technically, if you want to get you understand. So we all just branched out over thousands and centuries, but to the people in the comments, I do know and acknowledge that everyone is not from Africa, but Africa is the motherland, and that is where yeah. where the first yeah. woman came from. So, 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 you know, I know you, but the comments, they they, 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 gonna, they gonna be wild. You know, oh. so, yeah, but man. thank you for having me. I appreciate it, and 
peace, Hashe, I, many blessings to you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Get the uh, podcast. Get all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm now. I've been following you, baby. So, <laughs> okay. I got you. No peace, problem. babe. <laughs> How I get off? <laughs> um, I've been waiting a long time. Yeah, so she like, really sorry, yeah, sorry. Kelly. Peace, peace, Sammy. He must have left his phone. to uh you got tony black uh somebody else hey 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 i don't know how to cut this camera i'm gonna try to cut the camera i don't know how to do it this is like my second time but i'm gonna try i think i got it oh yeah, I, yeah you I, can, you can. Take them at the camera button. And go on. Oh, did the camera come on? Nah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it take about thirty seconds to come up uh, on some people's phones. Okay, we hold don't on, see hold you on, yet, though. I think I got it this time. It, it, I, I'm putting, a, I'm pressing the camera button. Can you send me an in, uh, invite? Make sure you're not pressing it two times. Or oh, two. It's showing clear. Okay, okay, I got it. Here we go. He sent you an invite. Okay, here we go. I think I pressed it. I pressed it, press turn on. Nah, I'm still not. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Hey, brother, man, we going There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on, let me take this tape off the phone. I keep a tape, piece of tape on my camera. <laughs> there we go. Man, you can't see my face. There we go. All right, what's up? What's up? Hey, man, I love y'all. Peace, peace. Brother, peace, peace. peace mom. <laughs> hey, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be um, trying to keep up with you. I've been following you ever since you, um, that older guy, when y'all went to that place and he said he had that vision. And y'all was coming there that day. You talking about when we went to a church? Yeah. I was on live with y'all. I was on live with y'all at that time. So I've been okay. always, with you, but because you, your your page changed, I'm with it's her now. So I I don't have no question. I don't have none against what you say. I love, I love, I love you. I love you. I just love you. Okay. All right. But you muted me one time, right? Cause, and I'm I'm gonna I'm explain why you did. Cause I said my mother was like God to me, right? Because she, she raised me and my brother and my sister. She was born in 1942. She's not here with me anymore, but, you know, she took care of us. No government sisters, no nothing, right? 
And we never went to church. Nobody ever read the book to me. Nobody ever sat me down and talked about God or anything like that, religion or anything. So when I said that, um, that's when you muted me. And I want to ask you why you do that. Because she was like a God to me. I've never said she was like the God of everyone. I was just saying she was like a God to me. You say why I muted you? Well, I don't know if you either. You was probably cut me off or something. I don't know. If I muted you, no, I, just, I just left that text on there. And the next thing you done, you muted me. But it didn't make me mad. I had called some of my friends and stuff, and we yeah. all started following you and stuff. And I and I signed a petition. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, though, brother man. But like I say, well, if I muted you, it was for it was for a righteous reason. But that's all that had said. I signed a petition after that. You know, it ain't, it ain't hurt me or nothing like that. But I was just wondering, because, you know, that was what it was to me, right? And I was wondering, did that make you mad that I said that? Or didn't I shouldn't have said that at all? That's all I was asking. Oh, no, no, no. That's why I say, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know. The, I, I, can't, I can't really say because I don't remember the incident. But no, I don't, you know, I don't. I don't really get mad. I don't because, like I said, I can understand where you're coming from because your mother gave you direction. Yes. But to a priesthood, you know, it's gonna be the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob that's gonna give you direction. So your mother is a form of a God to you. So I can understand that. You know, at the end of the time, so I say no, they ain't make me mad one bit. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have made me mad or shook me. It was just either. I don't like. I said I don't know what what setting we was in. If other people was in the panel, you know, but. If I muted you, it was just for uh, a righteous reason. It wasn't for what you said. Okay. Because uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. I was telling you, I was always um, put, typing in, you know, I've never picked the Bible up before a day in my life. Like, I never picked it up at all. But I understand when I hear people talk, I laugh, right? But when I heard you talk, the first time I heard you talk, head stood up, up in the back of my neck, right? And I was just like amazed with you, what you were saying, because I'm 50, I'm 50 some years old, right? To get me to, talk, to get me to sit down and listen to anybody to tell me anything is very very hard. It's very hard because can't nobody tell me. I, I feel good, like I feel good, like if I don't know by now, I, I'm never gonna know. That's real. Yeah. That's real. You know what, man? I, you know that's. What, you know, I do have I do have other other brothers with me, man, who who who, who of your age and older. Y'all know I be I be I be um, on the edge too. Okay. Oh yeah, that's up, oh, man. So you know, like I say, bro, you need to you need to reach out to us on the website and join the army. It's time for us I'm, to I'm fight. Trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I signed the petition, right? And I just want to know, like, you looked at it. Was my name on it? Did I do it right? You know, because this name on there, Tony Black and stuff. I'm from DC. Well, look. And I, if you're from DC, we're gonna be in DC in about another week. Okay. Okay. So, message me if you got my Facebook, or uh, you can send me a message. Oh, uh, you can send me a message on on uh, on, on this on this uh TikTok, and when we'll, we'll get in contact with you. Yeah, cause you you are the only person I ever listened to ever. Like whatever, Every, everything was like a joke to me. But when I heard you like speak that one day, I just can't I just can't stop. You know, and I'm and I'm with you. Whatever you do. And my thing is, I never been on a plane, never been on a boat, never been on a train. How you gonna get me to, to Ethiopia? You gonna miss the TV? You gonna knock me out like they used to do, Mister T back in the day? Because <laughs> if you stay and be uh, like you should, but uh, I you know, <laughs> I think man, to me, a plane would be the best way if you wanted the fastest. Uh, <laughs> the safest would be a boat. And uh, that's the only two options. I don't know about no train. You ain't gonna get. <laughs> I know, I know, I know that. I'm just saying, I never been on these objects before. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you kind of. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I, I think to get back on to the motherland, man, the joy, the experience, you know, the the uh, the benefits we gonna have. Like, we just not we going back to Africa to unify and provide benefits for our people. We just not going there to live, build a house, and say, "Ah, back home." No, we're actually going to restore. So it's going to be benefits offered to our people to even come back. We just not going to let our people come back and say, "I'm in Africa. Let's chill." 
You know, oh, oh. just like America offer benefits for us to stay here. Uh -huh. Africa going to offer benefits now for us to come back home. These things going to be set up by us. This is the side that people don't really know about. But they don't oh. even give us a chance to even talk about it. They don't even engage in us in the conversation so we can get to these conversations. I know, you know, I know. So, you know, man, so I, I think, you know, from that time, it, it ain't, ain't going to be if you, ain't, if you ain't traveled on none of them objects. You're going to be All having right, okay. to get on one just to go. Okay, you know, one so more question. One more question. They that's your question. It's not about the Bible or anything. Um, my Facebook, I mean, my little picture up there, right, is me and my grandson. That's who I live for now, right? All I want to know is, is he going to be okay? Because I'm not even worrying about me. I don't even care. Is he going to be okay? Is he going to live better than me? What you mean? Is he going to live a, a safer, happier life than I did in America? When you well, come, who you are? Because I know I'm not, looking for, I'm not looking for you to come. I'm not looking for you to come from the sky. I already know you're going to be on your two feet. That's what, that's what I that's what I was hoping for anyway. Somebody to rise on their two feet and stand above us and like lead the blacks where they supposed to be. That's, I've been waiting on that. The only thing about a man, a man just need a skill. And if a man got a skill, he always taken care of. <laughs> I'm a jack of all trades. That's not, but not a master of none. I can do anything. Well, yeah, that's and that's what it's about. Well, that's what it's about at the end of the day. So, you know, once you, once we teach our young men skills, they're gonna be able to truly take care of themselves. Skills, you know, a lot of times, even with me, I was handed the basketball, but I was fortunate to be living in the country, so I also knew about work, and that's what right. kind of saved me. Because when I look back at my manhood, I'm like, damn, I worked a lot of jobs because I knew how to do a lot of things. Right, most people. When after you dribble a basketball for so long, and especially if you go to college, your manhood get taken away from you, and now you don't know how to do number seven behind the desk. But you know what I'm like, now when you sit behind the desk, people can play with you how they want. Cause guess yeah. what? Anybody can sit behind the desk. Anybody can file paperwork. Anybody can type these. So when it comes to sitting behind the desk, that's not a skill. We they made us think that's a skill. That's not a skill. Now, I know that. I, you I know that. Oh, so I was just saying you about, about the young man you were speaking on, man. It's just, it's just teaching our young men skills. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't see me. Um, then when you get there, at that point you're supposed to be, I don't even really see me there with you, right? But I see my grandson going to be there. <laughs> and I'm happy well, about not, that. Trust me, hey. Man, it's just going to be like a family reunion. Everybody going to be there. Everybody, all the people that say they not coming, coming. That's how, yeah. that's how much glory going to be in Africa, man. So, like I said, it's going to be an undeniable experience, man. A lot of stuff we just don't understand right now. That's the whole Joseph story. All Joseph's brothers came back. Every last one of them. Even though they threw Joseph in the hole. Even though they wanted to kill Joseph. They all came back to Joseph. You now I'm not saying? talking about that that way. I just got a funny feeling I'm not gonna be here when it's happened, you know. That's I always um, I always like can understand my life, you know. I understood my life. I never I've never, never talked for anyone else, only talk for me. I always like read between the lines. I always had senses that other people don't seem to have to see things other people don't see. And that's why I say um I think I'm not going to be here when you do what you're supposed to do, but I know my grandson going to be there, and I'm happy about that. And that's all I want to say. Salute to you, brother, man. Salute. Salute to you, brother. Peace. Thank you. Love. Peace. Peace. Bye, Ma. Who's next? Yo, my peoples, my oh, sweat I'm on. What's up, peoples? Peace, peace, peace. You gotta cam up. Gotta cam up. Peace to you. Hey, I want to ask y'all like three or four questions. 
I know you got it. Hey, brother man, you got a cam up for us, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Hold on. All right. That's cool. That's how you do it. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen cleaning up. Oh, that. What I want to ask y'all. I love that flag. That is that an Ethiopian flag in the back? Correct. Um, the next question. That bracelet you got on. I like that bracelet. The colorful one. I don't know which hand it's on. It's on your right hand or your left hand. Yeah, that's dope. Where you get that from? Okay. Uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. It come from Jamaica, man. That come from Jamaica? Yeah. That's all right. Next question is um I see America have free land in Africa. Is that Ep that's what you're talking about? Going to Ethiopia? Correct. Um, so so what's the story with that? Because I've never been to Africa. Well, in 1950, in 1954, uh -huh. well, actually 1948, Hell um gave 500 acres, you know, to the people of the West. You know, that's us in America. To the Africans of <clears throat> Correct. And um, you know, this was around Jim Crow time, and you know, these things. Again, we was never told. He went to Chicago. He did. Get, I think he did go to New York. I think with the Chicago and New York, you know. So the South never knew nothing about none of these things, you know. So the Roman Catholic Church, they sent the fake Jews back to Israel, <laughs> and they gave reparations to them when they was supposed to be for us to restore Ethiopia. Mm. Ooh. Ethiopia is where the Bible come from. Ethiopia is the throne of David. That's where the throne of David is at. Christ mm. sits on who? Christ sits on the throne of David. So they stripped us from this information, brought in their version of Christianity, and mm. now the that we under stop us from hearing and seeing what I just told you. See, we can't see and hear that because of the false counsel that we are under. Okay, I get it. I get what you're doing. I get what you're saying. So when you, you know so when we rolling out, man? Huh? When we rolling out? Oh, this is gonna be worldwide, brother. Like, like right now, the information is getting people prepared. Because right now, it's gonna take the governing body, which are the true men and women, that's gonna come forth. To help govern this. Mm. And once we get that number, then that's when we head out. Okay, okay. Okay, next question. Let me ask you something. And this is this is a Bible question. Did Moses marry an Ethiopian woman? Yeah, but Ethiopian means burnt face. So uh -huh. correct. Ethiopian means burnt face. Burnt face? Yeah, that means Somebody that's in darkness. So, in other words, Moses married a woman that so-called wasn't up to people's standards. Yeah, that's what that's what I wanted to ask you. Why was his sister brother so mad? Because he married her. Well, yeah, that's why I say that, that that's like something that wasn't fit to their standards. Mmm. That's it. That's all the question. Because that's what Ethiopian means because yeah, you know, but Ethiopian is a modern day name. You know, even Alice, even Alice's wife is queen of Abyssinia. So that land was once called Abyssinia in the 1900s. You know, so Ethiopian is a modern day name. It actually means, like I say, burnt face. When you burnt face, you are in darkness or you, so that you means you're darker than an average person. They was mad because she was darker? That don't make sense. Not, not, huh? No, not not dark in skin complexion, but in mind range. But I'm I'm just trying to figure no. out why were they so mad at um Moses because he married the Ethiopian? <coughs> was she they was like, I don't know. Huh? 
It was a woman that was unfit. That's all that Ethiopian really represents. Uh, that's it, bro. And I like that bracelet, man. And I like that flag. It's got some nice colors in it. And I just wanted to ask y'all those questions. That's it. Y'all stay up. Y'all have a great one. All right, brother, man. Peace, peace. How come down? I got you. I got you. Let me see you next, y'all. Let me check the... Uh... Because the camera don't work. Hey, sis. Sis, if the camera don't work, then live don't work. We saw it. First of all, I'm also Muslim, you know, so I wouldn't we have be able to be on live without a headscarf either way. Would you like to hear oh, the voice us? Well, you gotta wait till you put You gotta wait to put that's just the rules. We have done it to other people. So we're just trying to be yeah. fair. Getting tired, y'all. What time have we been? What time have we been? <clears throat> Is that person here or everybody? Pro. Me? Mm. Mm. Right. Okay. Let's here. This is my one. Peace, peace. Does that come? I'm gonna send you an invite. No. Okay. No, you just got out. Come back up. I don't know what happened. It's like freezing on our side, though. We can't do nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's time to take a break. <clears throat> so, um...
Yeah, we're gonna we gonna uh, we'll come back later, y'all. We gotta go live. We're gonna take a break anyway. Peace, y'all. Thanks for coming out. Peace, peace. Thank y'all for coming.